Okay, so my my storage, it, the video cut off because my storage space. So, um, and it's getting dark, as you can tell. Um, so, long story shorter, I ended up going, um, the next day I ended up going to where this, the, the school is located. And I filled out, you know, what I had to fill out there. So, apparently, well, I say apparently, just the way it all happened because, I mean, I had so many concerns with Aiden and what I was doing with my life and all this stuff. I was even praying about purpose. And uh, it's like God answered it all. He connected the dots within a, a matter of a few moments. And um, so I went the next day, like I said, and so they gave me a tour of the school and I'm just I'm like, that it, it, it blows my mind. And I'm like, God, so I, of course, have I had, um, am I, have I felt nervous? Have I f experienced some fear trying to creep up on me? And uh, even lies like, you know, I, I hear, you know, they're gonna find you out. You're, um, you can't do this. You're, you know, and I've been feeling, you know, so inadequate, but I've just been praying and I'm like, no, no devil, no. I've been like Brother Josh Bowman at camp was preaching on the lies of Satan and making you feel inadequate and stuff. And, and God is not one that he should lie and stuff. And I'm like, no, no. So I've been praying. I'm like, God, you have opened this door. And there's a girl in our youth group. She told me before camp, she said, God is about to blow your mind. <laughs> she said, she said that she was praying that God would open doors for me that no man could shut. Well, this was a door and I wasn't searching for it. I was definitely searching for answers, and I searched in my own way for different jobs. And I pursued the the office job that I told you about that I got hired back on at, and I was supposed to start. Well, I did all that, but it's like God always, always, it seems, He moves in ways that you do not expect. I would have never considered it in my mind. I, I would have never... Um, pursued it probably because it's almost an hour away as well but listen I'm gonna have a summers off paid summers right I'm gonna have a holidays you know I get two and a half weeks for Christmas a week for Thanksgiving um, just it's seven it's 7 30 to 4 um, just you know and of course having my son there at the same place with me and him having friends though at the same time and being able to learn in a Christian environment and then around people that I love um, that are good godly Christians and I mean I got friends there and so I was I had this gloom coming over me whenever I went to the office um, Bluegrass Orthopedics and when I was gonna go back there it was like just there was a feeling I like I told you I just didn't feel good about and um, so anyway I was talking to the pastor's wife the principal's wife and she said when she saw me post about an office job on Facebook a couple weeks ago, she said she opened up her messenger and was going to write me um, and tell me about the school. There were positions, and um, she would love, they would love it if I came. She said she closed out of it, though, because she said to herself, no, she, she wouldn't want to drive that far because they, they had to do that for a long time, an hour and a half drive, and which mine is almost an hour. But anyway, so... It's just been one thing after the other, but what's funny? Yeah, I told you I wasn't pursuing it or nothing, but what's funny is that I have it on my map, and I showed my husband, and I even told the, the prince, uh, you know, different people, and the lady that talked to me about the decision. Um, I, for some reason, I, I can't even tell you why. I had gone on my map a few days before camp, and I typed in the school name just to see how far away it was. And, it's just the the craziest things it, just that only God could do and um, there's so many more details but so he just connected all the dots for us and for me and um, I had told my mother-in-law you know she was pulling for me to get on in the school system in our county because they they have her and my my um, father-in-law they have both retired from the school system my husband's in the school system um, his brothers in the school system and so they were she was trying to talk to people and pull for me to get on and I wanted to be in the school system well I mean I don't even know what to say I'm just like it's not in the same county you know but I'm just I'm just amazed because it's a Christian school and and I'm like so now 
open house is Monday. <laughs> I just found out last this past Monday that I was going to be there. And so I've got all these books that I, you know, different books for different grades. And I, I never, I was like, Lord, I, I'm, I have to get that teacher mindset going now. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm getting decorations for my classroom. I'm going to decorate it Monday. And, you know, and I'm like, so it's like everything that the devil's told me I couldn't do. It's like God is saying, no, I'm, I've opened this door. And if you commit, you walk through it, then I will equip you. I just feel like he's been telling me these things, you know, and, and um, I just, he's brought me to a closer place in him. Wow, it's really starting to get dark out here. Woo. So anyway, I just, I just had to share that with you all. In the midst of pain and everything changing, um, so many things have changed. And, you know, it, it began to just, uh, my life was feeling kind of like out of control. And uh, you know how you get to that place sometimes. You just, it, it's like the rug is ripped out from under you once again. I've, I've, I've mentioned that before. I give him that as an example. And um, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know where you're going. I'm telling you, but God is always on time and he's not shaking. When we begin to, to fear and doubt and all those things, he's saying, no, 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 I've got a plan for you. And he is faithful, like that song says. And I, I just hope that that blesses you, that song. He is faithful. He knows where we need to be. He knows whose paths that we need to we need to cross and who we need to be connected with because listen it's not about us and he's reminded me cuz he reminded me of the prayer I prayed even about my purpose and cuz I don't I told him I said God I don't just want to want to go through the motions I don't want to just uh, live life and just and just pursue worldly things I want to live in my purpose and so it's like wow you know this life is not about us and what we can gain our kingdom that we can gain you know I'm not saying material things are all bad but we if we're not careful we get in a place where that's all we can see and that's all we desire and we stop desiring the things of God and hungering after him and his righteousness you know but he has put it back in my heart once again he's given me that desire even more once again and uh, it's just rekindled some things you know, I, I felt close to him during the time of, you know, with the miscarriage. Oh, what a peace I had. And and even now, you know, but, but it, you know, and I, I was, of course, I, I was feeling him, you know, strong and everything. But but this, how he, he made a way. It, it just felt like he, I mean, nobody can tell me any different. He, he just, it, like he parted my Red Sea, you know, and although I didn't have an army coming against me, but sometimes, like that song says, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And I was, I was feeling surrounded by, by things that I, I, that was out of my control, that I, I didn't know which direction to go. But, but God, I tell you, He, who over and over, again and again, God is faithful. Yes, He is. And uh, He knows right where we need to be. And we limit him so many times, and we we try to work things out in ourselves. But I'm telling you, like Proverbs, uh, you know, in, in Proverbs it talks about three, five, and six, three, chapter three, verse five and six. It talks about you know, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not to thine own understanding, acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths, and he will. But the thing is, we don't acknowledge him in all of our ways. We We'll give him this, but then over here we hold back from him. And but I'm telling you, once like like for me, I I was pursuing, and I, I was I kind of I knew, uh, Lord, if I just if I just rest and I will stop trying to pursue something without without really being led by you. If I'll just not I, I get it I get it. People say, well, you you can't wait on God to do everything. Sometimes you got to take the first step. And I get that. I understand what you're saying, but. But I, what I was feeling, I, I kept feeling like, Ashley, you just need to stop because God's got a plan. I'm so sorry it's dark, but if I go inside, it's probably loud. <laughs> I get distracted. But anyway, but when we take our hands off and finally surrender and say, God, I'm trusting in you. I'm waiting on you. I'm believing in you. I know you're faithful. I know you'll move. And just wait for him to answer. And I'm telling you, he will. Like, like Sarah in our youth group says, he will blow your mind. <laughs> he will. He will come down, and he will make a way where no one else could have made a way. He will make a way in such a way that you know without a doubt that it was him. 
and hallelujah, he is so good. And I have wanted to tell so many people, I, I, that's why I'm on here, because I gotta just share with you and I wanna encourage you. If you're in that place today and you're searching for direction, you don't know where you're going, you, maybe you thought you had things planned out and now it's, everything's just crumbling and you don't know where you are, I'm telling you, God sees you. He's got a plan and there's a purpose in you that he wants to fulfill, but we gotta take our hands off and say, God, you lead me. That walking by faith and not by sight is what we gotta do. And I'm telling you, and that's where, when, we're, when we don't know where we're going, and, and when we just begin to depend upon him that that's where our faith begins to grow when we're challenged if we're never challenged if we're never taken out of our comfort zone we will never grow we will never uh, he wants to stretch us he wants to he wants to show us things he wants to take us to deeper levels and that's what he's about to do with me he's uh, uh I'm nervous yes I'm like oh god I'm gonna have to wrestle with some things but I know my god has opened the door and I gotta walk through it because how dare I stay in the same place just to be comfortable? When there are blessings up ahead, if I don't, if I don't go and, and, and take hold of it, then I will never experience the goodness and, and the, the blessings that he's got ahead for myself, my family, and those that he wants to connect me with. So anyway, just trust in the Lord. Let him lead you. He's faithful. And I, I'm telling you, once again, I can, I can, whew, it is so dark. I can tell you that he, he's an on-time God, and he wants to bless you. It's not all about riches and all that, you know, and it, I'm, it, blessings are more than financial things. But, but just in ways that, that you know it's from him, he'll lead you and guide you. And uh, he, he wants to have part in everything that we do. He wants to be in the center of it all. And... And I'm telling you, he will, he will, he will absolutely just, you will be blown away just like I am right now of his goodness. So, um, I will tell you one, one more thing if I can, if I can hush now, I'm about to go in, but I went to a, a yard sale this morning. I got up, I was feeling good, you know, and I was, I had been up praying last night and just, um, singing that song. I just kept singing it and I woke up singing it and I'm just talking about the goodness of God, you know? And uh, I went to a yard sale this morning, and, uh, and, and the ladies that were sitting there, I, I don't even, I said something about coming back from youth camp. Well, it turns out, of all places that I could have went, it was somebody, somebody's house that, of one of the young people that had went, actually got Mr. Youth Camp. So anyway, we, we began to talk, you know, and I shared with them what God did for me. And man, they began to speak in the Spirit, and they were, whew, hallelujah. They, they were that we were having church right there at the yard sale and, and they were just so uplifted because of of me sharing the goodness of God let me tell you oh if he's done something for you you tell him if you're waiting on him to do something for you he's already done enough but but he continues to bless and if he if if you're waiting on him go ahead and just encourage yourself in the Lord and just start I'm not one of those claim it you know whatever kind of people like um, you know how people are and, and different ones out there that kind of get hopped up in all that and just whatever, but name it, claim it. That's what I was trying to say. But, but go ahead and praise him for what he's going to do. I know it's hard when you don't feel it and you don't see it. And sometimes maybe you doubt a little bit, but go ahead and praise him because you know he's God. You know he's good. You know he's always faithful. He's never failed you one time. If you can look back, any time that you think you failed, it's not because it was the Lord. But He has always come down. He's, he's come by our way. He's picked us up, put us on the right path. He, I'm telling you, and every time, I can, I can say that for myself, not one time has He failed me. He's always been on time. And I just, it amazes me. He lets us go through some dark times. So when the light finally comes, we know that it came from no one but Him. And so anyway, I'm just so grateful. See, you know, the miscarriage, we, we had that heartache. And yeah, like I said, I still cry every once in a while. Um, and I mean, it's still fresh because it was just back in June. But, but even through the pain, God is, is making a way. And he's letting us just experience him and his goodness. And uh, so listen, my friend, I'm here with experience with a testimony, walking through the pain, there is purpose in our pain. 
There are people to be reached. There are those that are going through the same thing, but maybe just don't share their story like you do. There are people that are silent and, and silently hurting. People need to hear your story. And maybe you share it differently than I do or anyone else does. That's fine. Let God lead you and, and do what you know that God has called you to do. Just walk in it and just, just stir up the gift that is within you. I just wanted to say that. Stir up the gift that is within you. And let, let God use you. Stop letting these temporary things cloud your mind and getting you off track and getting you down and depressed and doubting and fearful of the future. I, I'm, I'm saying that because I, I know those feelings all too well. Let him lift you up because he will. He will. And I'm telling you, just, just praise him. Praise him for what he's done in the past. Praise him for what he's doing now even though you can't see it. And praise him for what he's going to do in the future. I know he'll move if we, he, he's faithful even when we're not, but I'm telling you, if we will be faithful, man, can you imagine, can you imagine, he, he, he moves in ways we never thought, he'll just come by and it, it, leave us in awe of his goodness, so anyway, um, I, I hope that, that something in there maybe can encourage you, I'm just, I'm just excited, and I just had to get that off my heart, there's so many more details I wish I could share, um, but anyway, guys, I, I, I just, I just want you to be encouraged in the Lord and remember that He sees you and He cares and He's got a plan for each and every one of us. And this is like Sister Edna was saying at camp. She's the one that spoke in the mornings. This ain't all there is. This ain't all there is. This is all just temporary. And so just keep your eyes on the prize and let Him use you. Hallelujah. Love you guys.